Hi guys, welcome to Colossus Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. So in this video, I want to talk about the power of sine and cosine. Alright, so we have our first example. These are very, very simple example that you need to know. So in the first example, we have so solution. The first one, we have the integral of sine squared x dx so having this kind of thing you cannot integrate this you have to bring in what we call the double identity the trigonometric double identity and under the trigonometric double identity it is said to us that sine squared x is the same thing as 1 minus cos 2x over 2. So sine square x is the same thing as what? 1 minus what? Cos 2x over 2. So that means your integral will now become integral. It become integral 1 minus cos 2x over what? Over 2. Are you seeing that now? So now I can take something outside. So, I can say this is the same thing as 1 over 2 integral 1 minus cos 2x dx. It is still the same thing. I got what I'm saying now. It is still the same thing. So, from here, it is very, very simple already. So, what you need to do now will now become 1 over 2. So, if you integrate, if you integrate 1, what will you get? x minus if you integrate cos 2x if you integrate cos 2x you are going to have sine 2x over 2 plus c so multiplying that one multiply by this will give me x over 2 are you seeing that now then this multiply by this will give me minus sine 2x over what 2 times 2 you give me what 4 then plus what c you will not multiply that with c i get what i'm saying now so this is the answer we are going to get for our first example so now let's go to the second example the second example is for cos so we have integral cos square x dx i'm sure by now you will agree with me that we are using the word the trig identity and the trigonometric identity for cos square x we have been told that the trig identity for cos square x is 1 plus cos 2x over 2 so what you would notice between the one for sine and the one for cos is what is the difference in sign the what the difference in sign so you see that this one is plus and this one here is what minus you can see that this is minus and this is plus all right so as simple as that then let's go there we are going to be having integral 1 plus cos 2x all over what 2 all bracket close dx then bring one over 2 outside that will become 1 over 2 integral what that will become 1 over 2 integral 1 plus cos 2x dx and so doing that again that will become 1 over 2 so if you integrate 1 what will you get x if you integrate cos 2x what will you get plus sine 2x over 2 then plus c so that now becomes this time this will give us x over 2 plus sine 2x over 2 plus c so you can see this is my final answer now what do you notice in these two change in this in signs you can see here is plus and here is minus do we understand that now all right so so our third example so this is our number two example so to the third example we have integral sine squared x cos x dx now 
the first thing you need to do here is the first thing you need to do you need to use what we call the substitution method here so that will not be so you can say integral sine square x is the same thing as sine x all squared hope you know it is the same thing as sine x all squared then cos x dx so now let u be sine x so let u equals sine x that means your integral will now become u square cos x i see that now your integral will become integral u square cos x dx now we want to make the set of formula so if you make the x sort of formula what are we going to be having we are going to have something here i'm representing this so if you differentiate this your du will be what your du is going to be what cos x over this one is dx then if you now cos multiply you are going to have du equal to what cos x dx you can see that it's already simple now so when you differentiated this you have cos x dx so that means your integral will now become anywhere you see cos x you're not putting what du so that will now become integral what u square du do you see that now integral because i represented my u with what sine x which is this then i have cos x right so now differentiating my u here yeah, give me cos x if you cos multiply you are going to have du equals to what cos s dx and then that means i can change everything this cos s dx to be what to be du so now differentiate i mean integrating my du if you integrate your du what are you going to have you are going to have u raised power theory over theory plus what c and what is your u your u is what sine x so that will be what sine x or is the power what? theory over theory then we're writing that as this one is the same thing as what sine cube x over what theory plus c are you seeing that now so our answer is what sine cube x over theory now to the last example we have before i wrap up with you for today so don't forget to subscribe like and always share these videos now we have a question which is what integral cos cube x dx so solving this what am i going to have it is very simple you know cos cube x can be written as product it can be written as product so we can write this as cos square x cos x it is still the same thing true or false true and for my understanding on on double angle from double angle we should know that cos square x is the same thing as one minus sine squared x so from trig angle this one is the same thing as this then cos x so if you multiply you are going to have integral cos x minus what sine square x cos x if you multiply this and this this is what you are going to have so multiplying it you are going to have cos x dx minus integral sine square x cos x dx so i'm going to integrate this separately so if you integrate cos x you are going to have sine x minus if you know you have we have already integrated something like this which is our number three here we've integrated this and what's the answer we get sine cube x over what over three so this is what sine cube 
x over what? 3. Are you seeing that now? So that means my answer for this place is what? Sine x minus what? Sine cube x over what? 3 plus c. So this will be the final answer that we are going to have for this question. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and always share the video. And if you have any questions concerning this topic, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and do have a great day.